but remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth, and so confirms His covenant, which He swore to your ancestors, as it is today. Are you managing the resources you are blessed with by preserving them or by increasing them and in producing wealth? The parable of the talents tells the story of three servants who received a share of their master's property. The three faithfully returned to the master what belonged to him. However, the first two did something extraordinary that was commended by their Lord. They produced wealth with what they received, and the Lord rewarded them for that practice. But why produce more wealth? Well, the more wealth we produce, the greater our ability to help the needy and advance God's kingdom. Considering that God promises the ability to produce wealth to all his servants, it is unfortunate that the third servant failed to manage his Lord's goods well and was deprived of his master's reward. As believers, we are responsible for what we have received from God and for what we can produce. Ellen G. White says that in making a profession of faith in Christ, we pledge ourselves to become all that is possible for us to be as workers for the Master, and we should cultivate every faculty to the highest degree of perfection that we may do the greatest amount of good of which we are capable. Growth in all areas of life and participation in the production of resources is a divine assignment with the purpose of doing the greatest amount of good to others and God's kingdom. This responsibility will lead us to reassess our giving patterns, often requiring courage, strength, perseverance, and self-discipline. It is a daily uphill journey. However, no one has to be discouraged or quit. God's promise still stands. He gives us the ability to produce wealth. Let us require it from Him. Through our faithful giving, we are called today to be a greater source of blessing, growing our resources to their real potential. As we worship God with our tithe and promise, may we put our desires last and God first.